So Neanderthals were quite the artists. This is something most people actually don't realize. When the majority of the population thinks about Neanderthals, they think of these dumb, brute cavemen with thick brow arches and ooga booga sounds. But the truth about Neanderthals or Neanderthals or whatever you want to pronounce it, I prefer Neanderthals because it's easier for me, but whatever. The truth about Neanderthals is far from what the majority believes. Neanderthals were actually very intelligent, quite sophisticated, and they were without a doubt artists, able to create sophisticated stone tools and apparently even stone circles. My name is Kaylee, and in this video I'm going to tell you all about the oldest stone circle ever found, dating back to 175,000 years ago, which was created by Neanderthals, or Neanderthals. So the southwest of France is absolutely littered with Paleolithic sites and decorated caves. Among these archaeological sites from the Paleolithic is the Brunicale cave. This cave closed naturally when the entrance collapsed all the way back in the Pleistocene. The Pleistocene ended about 12,000 years ago, but by then the cave had already collapsed, like long ago. Because the entrance had collapsed, no one was able to enter the cave for many thousands of years. I mean, tens of thousands of years. Thus the contents inside the cave laid there in the exact same way that they were left undisturbed until cavers dug through the entrance all the way back in 1990. These spelunkers excavated the entrance and squeezed themselves through, the first to enter the cave in many tens of thousands of years. Inside, they found the remains of long extinct European cave bears and other extinct megafauna. But the real treasure trove of the cave laid much deeper more than 336 meters, which is approximately a thousand feet, away from the entrance in a damp chamber. In this chamber, the remains of several large ring-like structures were found. Protruding from the cave floor, there were layered stalagmites in the shape of many circles. This showed the unmistakable craftwork of builders with a purpose. So these stalagmites weren't stacked all willy-nilly for no reason. They were elaborate and complex structures. So a plan of these structures was made back in the early 1990s, but research into the site came to a very abrupt halt when the lead archeologist Francois Rousseau suddenly passed away from a heart attack while guiding colleagues in a different cave on April 24, 1999. After his death, the work on the Brunicale cave stopped completely and its incredible contents were neglected and abandoned. But thankfully, the cave and its contents weren't completely forgotten. In 2013, Jacques Jaubert and his colleagues decided to study and date the structures inside the Brunicale cave and they published a paper outlining the results of their research in Nature in 2016. So when Jaubert and his colleagues entered the cave, they noticed that it was very well preserved with few to possibly even none visits inside the cave after it was abandoned by researchers in 1999. The reason for this has probably everything to do with the fact that the cave is situated on private property, which is regulated by the French government. So, I mean, way to go, French government. Good job. So let's take a look into the stalagmite circles that were created by Neanderthals and how the researchers actually deducted that it was created by no other human species than the Neanderthals. So the circular structures are created from nearly 400 stalagmites. I guess everyone watching this is familiar with what a stalagmite is, but just in case there are people watching who don't know, stalagmites are the cone-shaped rock formations that, you know, uh, rise from cave floors as dripping mineral rich water accumulates over time. Picture on screen. The stalagmites were then stacked into a large circular structure measuring approximately 6.7 by 4.5 meters. A smaller semicircle measuring 2.2 by 2.1 meters was also created using the stalagmites, as well as four heaps of stacked stalagmites between 0.5 and 2.6 meters in diameter. 
stalagmites, stalagmites, stalagmiten. I don't know how you want me to pronounce that either. So, two of these heaps of stalagmites were inside the large ring and the other two were outside of it. So the tops of the stalagmites showed cracked areas of 75 pieces of red and 66 pieces of black discoloration, which indicates that fires were once lit on top of them. The researchers also discovered charred bits of bone, including the burnt bone of a bear or other large herbivore near the smaller semicircle. The used stalagmites were cut to roughly the same length by the builders. Very few of the used stalagmites are still whole. Almost all of them no longer have the root and the tip. So the average length of the stalagmite pieces used to create the largest circle is 34.4 centimeters, while the pieces used for the semicircle average a length of 29.9 centimeters. So when looking at the stone circles at first glance, it looked like it could be the work of early modern humans who appeared in Europe around 50,000 years ago. But the dating for these stalagmites and the bits of bone discovered at the site revealed a much older date. One that would have made it impossible for modern humans to have created them. So using uranium thorium dating, as well as dates for a mineral cloak that had grown over the stalagmites, the researchers were able to find out that the stalagmites were placed in their current position around 175,000 years ago making it absolutely impossible for modern humans to have created these stone circles, as these circles predate the arrival of Homo sapiens by more than 100,000 years. Due to the fact that besides Neanderthals, no other human species were living in Europe around that time that these circles were built, we can say with certainty that Neanderthals are without a doubt the builders. Neanderthals thrived on this planet for 300,000 years, they coexisted with multiple other human species, like for instance Homo heidelbergensis, the Denisovans, and with us, modern humans. They were intelligent, mastered the creation and use of fire, created sophisticated stone tools from the Mysterian culture, adorned themselves with feathers, created shelters, and they even created art. I have created videos on Neanderthal intelligence, common misconceptions, their skin color, many other subjects surrounding Neanderthals, like why they disappeared and all that stuff. And if you haven't watched all of these videos, or if you would like to re-watch some of these videos, I'll put them in a separate playlist and I'll link that here in the upper right corner for you to click on. So the circular structures here in the Brunikel cave show that Neanderthals were far more organized in their social structure than previously thought. The creation of these structures requires the mobilization of people who can lead, who can advise, who can manufacture, who can construct patterns, all while they needed a continuous source of light. And all of this combined indicates that Neanderthals, who created these structures, lived in a structured society far more sophisticated and advanced than academics had thought possible only a few decades ago. And that is the true beauty of discoveries like these. They broaden our understanding of species, they shatter our old-fashioned beliefs, and they show us that the ancient human species were capable of far more than was thought possible. I can only hope that discoveries like these will keep being unearthed in the upcoming decades. Discoveries that reveal hidden truths about our ancestors and the other human species that have lived before us. I cannot wait to see how the field of anthropology will improve in the upcoming years, but you rest assured, I will be here to tell you all about it as time goes on. But I've only got one question left. What do you think of the stone circles in the Brunikel cave and the Neanderthals who created them? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed watching, then don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you'd like to see more of these kind of videos, and click that bell icon if you want to be notified whenever I upload. If you haven't seen my previous videos yet, then click the card in the upper right corner, or click one of the links in the description down below, or click a video in the end card. I would also like to say a massive thank you to my patrons, and my channel members, thank you so much for supporting me. It absolutely means the world to me. And with that said, this is the end of the video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.